Hey, Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. I want to start off this video by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahusha, Bahashim Rukakudash. I want to give the honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well, and grace and peace to you elect around the four winds, believing and pushing this truth in all sincerity. May the blessing of election be upon your houses. This is your fellow servant, Rukaya, from the GMS Orlando camp. And uh, tonight's lesson is going to be entitled, We Have to Be Broken Down in Order to Be Built Up. All right. We have to be broken down in order to be built up. All right. And um, I wanted to bring out this quick exhortation, all right, for you elect out there to prepare to be broken down. All right. Speaking to myself, first and foremost, of course. All right. But prepare to be broken down. All right. Because there's a rebuilding that needs to take place through the spirit. That can only happen once this flesh and this old man is broken down. All right. And tonight's lesson is uh is inspired by this feast of unleavened bread, you know, as we've been partaking in these past seven days. And um as we've been eating the unleavened bread, you know, one thing I've been meditating on is uh the breaking down of our bodies, the breaking down of this flesh, you know, because as we know, the unleavened bread is representative of Yahweh Shah's body. You know, and as you eat the bread, it, as you eat the unleavened bread, you notice, you know, how much you have to chew, how much you have to truly, you know, chew it down in order for it to digest. You know, likewise, our bodies, likewise, your Hawashai's body and likewise, our bodies. All right. Because the servant is not greater than his Lord. All right. And one thing to take note of is that the breaking down of our bodies, the breaking down of our flesh has already started. All right. And it started when we first came into this truth. All right. When we first learned about this truth and first really started to delve into this truth and, and, and really occupy ourselves with this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. That's when the breaking down of our flesh, the breaking down of our body begin, uh, began, all right? Because that's when the Lord begins to really sup with you. And he begins to really put you through certain trials and tests, all right, to purge out the imperfections, to purge out our impurities, all right, and to strengthen our spirits, all right? So that breaking down process has started, all right, and it's still taking place right now through the spirit. All right. And it's important that you prepare, prepare yourself for that. All right. And embrace it. All right. Embrace this breaking down that's happening through the spirit. All right. Because as this breaking down is taking place, the rebuilding is taking place as well. All right. Because as we've been as we've been being broken down, all right, the Lord has been rebuilding us slowly through the spirit. All right. He's been imparting more spiritual understanding unto us. All right. He's been imparting more spiritual strength, more mental strength. All right. More mental fortitude. All right, more spiritual fortitude, all right, more faith, more wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, all right, all things that we're going to need in order to overcome and endure in these latter days, pursuing Isaiah 33 and 6. All right, let's get that real quick, you know, since I quoted it. This is Isaiah chapter 33 and verse 6. It reads, And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is his treasure. All right, and wisdom and knowledge comes from what? Trial and tribulation. It comes from experience. All right, and these experiences that we've been gaining, all right, through these different trials the Lord has been putting us through, is a part of that rebuilding. It's a part of that breaking down and that rebuilding. All right, through trials we're being we're being broken down. Through tribulations we've been broken down. All right, and as we overcome these trials and tribulations, we're being rebuilt back up through the Spirit. We're learning how to walk more spiritually. We're, we're learning how to think more spiritually, you know, have our conversation more geared toward the heavens. You know, it's just like, um, it's just like if you were go to, um, you know, lift weights, you know, I know y'all, I came out there, you know, go to the gym or if you go to the gym, you know, it's just, it's much like lifting weights. You know, our spirit is much like weightlifting, you know, as the muscles is torn. All right. Once you give it time, it starts to rebuild. And as it rebuilds, it gets stronger. Likewise, us in the spirit, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a good similitude, you know, if you see what I'm trying to say, but, um, let's see, I just have a couple of scriptures here that I want to get tonight, you know, uh, Lord willing, this is edifying and exhorting until you elect out there. All right. Prepare to be broken down. All right. We have to be broken down in order to be built up. All right. It's a part of this walk. It's a part of this truth of ours. It's a part of our, our growth process. All right, it's a part of the process of becoming the elect. All right, it's a part of the it's it's a part of the process that the elect must go through. You know, Salaki, it's a part of the process that the elect must go through. All right, in order to receive that salvation. 
all right and through this you know through this breaking down that's happening through the spirit and it's rebuilding it's going to come spiritual power all right spiritual power is going to come through this because as we learn you know as we learn how to how to uh, um walk more through the spirit and as our as our bodies are being rebuilt more through the spirit all right the more the lord is able to deal with us the more the lord is able to sup with us all right the more of his spirit he's able to impart in us all right and that's going to lead to spiritual power that's going to lead to miracles that's going to lead to salvation you see what i'm saying so we have to be broken down in order to be in order to be built up it's a necessity all right but um let's get into it this is john chapter three and we're going to start at verse three all right because the beginning of our uh the the breakdown process for us begins here all right being reborn again through the spirit this is john 3 and 3 yahushua answered and said unto him verily verily i say unto thee except a man be born again he cannot see the kingdom of the heavenly father all right and how is a man born again all right how is a man uh reborn after he's passed the womb of his mother all right he's reborn spiritually all right and it's mentally all right this change or this breaking down process all right this rebirth so to speak starts off mentally all right this is romans chapter 12 and verse 2 and be not conformed to this world but be transformed by the renewing of your mind that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of the of the heavenly father all right so this transformation all right this this rebirth so to speak happens first mentally all right and this is the beginning of the breakdown process all right when the lord starts to sup with us mentally and our minds begin to change and form and, and be conformed to the will of Yahweh by Shemiah was shy. All right, let's get this real quick in Psalms 19 and verse 7. The law of the Lord, Yahweh by Shemiah was shy, is perfect, converting the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. All right, and this testimony that we receive uh, upon being uh, renewed back into the truth makes us wise, you know, and, uh, whereas we were simple. You know, it brings us out of that simple state and makes us wise. All right. And that's a part of that rebuilding process. All right. Once we're broken down. All right. And, and we begin to meditate upon the law of the Lord, you know, and the will of the Lord. Then our simplicity. All right. Begins to be converted into wisdom. All right. And the Lord begins to build upon that and build upon that and build upon that continually. All right. Until the day in which he's, he's finished building. All right. And we're that perfect vessel. You know, we're that vessel in which the Lord can fully deal with us. All right. It says again, the law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. All right. So this breaking down process first begins with us receiving this truth. All right. And upon receiving this truth, as we receive more wisdom, as we go through more trials and tribulations, then we begin, uh, then we begin to be built up. All right, then our simplicity turns into wisdom. All right, and wisdom begets more wisdom and more wisdom and more faith. All right, more understanding. All right, and these are the things that we need to be built up in through the spirit in order to endure. All right, this is a necessity, you know. And being reborn is is a, is a is a is a tedious process, you know. Us being reborn through the spirit is a tedious process. It's not an easy process. Just like natural birth, all right, is a is a is a painful process. You know, this spiritual rebirth is a, is a painful process because it comes with trials. It comes with tribulations. All right? It comes with obstacles. All right. But these things are a necessity in order for us to grow, in order for us to reach that point. All right. To which we read about. All right. That point in which our forefathers were at and where they were able to perform miracles. You know, they were able to sup with the Lord on a higher level. You know, this is the point in which we desire to reach. And that that point comes through different trials it comes through being reborn man you know it comes through being broken down it comes through being broken down and being rebuilt all right let's get this in uh first peter chapter two all right because after we've been reborn all right after we become those newborn babes all right through the spirit we have to desire the sincere milk that we may grow thereby. All right. This is first Peter two and two as newborn babes desire the sincere milk of the word that you may grow thereby. All right. And once we make that transformation through the spirit, all right, it's in this, it's a, then there becomes a need for us to grow. All right. Like all, like all children, all right. Like all babies, all right. They begin to grow. 
All right. And as we grow, we have to desire the sincere milk. All right. The milk of this word. All right. The basics. All right. And once we establish ourselves upon the basics, then we begin to grow to the point where we can eat meat, you know, spiritual meat. All right. And then we can digest it. And then we're able to teach others, you know, feed others, you know, and this is a part of that breaking down and building up process. <laughs> all right. It's all a part of the process. All right. And this process, once again, it comes through chastisement. It comes through trials. It comes through tribulations. All right. It comes through different experiences. All right. All the which you have to prepare yourself for. You know, this is Hebrews chapter 12. And uh, I'm going to start at verse 5. And ye have forgotten the exhortation which speaketh unto you as unto children. My son, despise not the chastening of the Lord, nor faint when thou art rebuked of him. Why? For whom the Lord loveth, he chasteneth, and scourgeth every son whom he receiveth. If ye endure chastening, the heavenly Father dealeth with you as with sons. For what son is he whom the Father chasteneth not? All right, so this chastisement that we receive in this uh, breaking down and building up process is the Lord showing us love, man. All right, the Lord treating us as sons because he wants to see us walk that right path. All right, just like you want to see your, your natural son, you know, do the best he can do. All right, therefore you chastise him, therefore you correct him. All right, when you see him going wrong. Likewise, the Heavenly Father. Likewise, Yahweh by Shema was shy. All right, the Lord wants to see us go on the right path. All right, he wants to see us do the best we can do. Therefore, he chastises us. Therefore, he puts us through certain circumstances in order for us to grow, in order for us to be broken down. All right. In order for us to be humbled at some points, you know, humble. All right. For us to learn from that. All right. And to build upon that. You know, it says, if you endure chastening, the heavenly father deal with you as with sons. For what son is he whom the father chasteneth not? But if you be without chastisement, whereof all the partakers, then are ye bastards and not sons. Furthermore, we have had fathers of our flesh, which corrected us, and we gave them reverence. Shall we not much rather be in subjection unto the father of spirits and live? For they verily for a few days chastened us after their own pleasure, but he for our profit, that we might be partakers of his holiness. Now no chastening for the present seemeth to be joyous, but grievous. Nevertheless, afterward it yieldeth the peaceable fruit of righteousness unto them which are exercised thereby. All right, and by the Lord exercising us through these trials and tribulations, it's going to yield in us those peaceable fruits. All right, the peaceable fruit of righteousness. You see, by us partaking in this breaking down, this chastisement, all right, that rebuilding process is working in us these peaceable fruits of righteousness. You know? But I just have one more precept and then I'll close it out. You know, uh, I got to get back to... Uh, to uh this job man but it says this is galatians chapter four and i'm gonna start at verse one now i say that the heir as long as he is a child differs nothing from a servant though he be lord of all all right and this is first seen through who yahweh all right even though he be, he was lord of all he differed nothing from a servant therefore he came down you know as a man and suffered the things that he suffered in order to be glorified and in order for his elect to be glorified, in order for the, our nation to be glorified. All right. He came down and he served. All right. Although he was Lord of all. So it says, now I say that the heir, as long as he is a child, differeth nothing from a servant, though he be Lord of all. All right. And this translates to us right now, us of the hope we elect. All right. Though we be heirs. All right. And, and, and the Lord and lords. All right. We differ nothing from a servant. All right, it says, but it's under tutors and governors until the time appointed of the father. All right, and our tutors and governors are essentially this world. All right, and the trials that we face while navigating through it. And just like when you're in school, you know, they got it. <laughs> Which, uh, you know, the school is, is wicked, man. You know, but while you're in school, you know, they break down that, that simple understanding you know, and they, they process the true understanding they're supposed to, at least, you know, but that you're broken down, you know, they break you down into into the point where you're able to learn and you're able to grow. All right. Likewise, this world. All right. The Lord is putting us through certain things in order for us to be broken down. All right. To a point where we can learn and grow, you know, but with that being said, that's all I really had to say. All right. We have to be broken down in order to be built back up. All right. It's a necessity, man. All right. So arm yourselves. All right, with the uh, with the like-minded Yahweh Shai. 
all right, to overcome and endure these things, all right, because they're going to get harder. All right, the breaking down process is still taking place and it's going to get tougher, all right, but as it gets tougher, all right, the outcome is going to yield even more fruits, uh, 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 the peaceable fruits of righteousness, all right, uh, it's going to yield even more, even greater fruits within our spirits, man, you know, but with that being said, or well, willingness to edify unto you elect, shallow want, stay up.